Good morning, my name is Mike Rainier. I'm with Verizon Structures, and today we're going to look at the low profile horse barn. Uh, we're going to start off, we're going to show you a little bit of uh, the exterior here. This is uh, an exterior that we call a Ford and Batten exterior. It is an eastern white pine uh, vertical siding with a raised batten section on it. Um, very good for insulation qualities of the barn, holds a very temperate um, environment inside the barn, keeps the horses fairly warm with their own body heat, doesn't have a whole lot of variation between hot and cold during the seasons. This barn, as you can see, has the option on it for paint on the barn. You can also have the option of staining your barn. And uh, we do have about four different colors of stock stain that you can work with. We'll take a quick look here at the exterior barn doors. Your standard barn door is gonna come with a wood X on the top and bottom. Uh, and it will be a unfinished door uh, stock. Uh, you also, as you can see, have the option to have uh, windows with grids installed in there to let in more natural light in your barn. Here's a look at our standard uh, style aisle door that you'd be getting. There is no glass in the top panel. It's going to have a wood X top and bottom. And as I mentioned, this door and your barn as a standard is going to come unfinished. This also gives you a good shot too. We use a galvanized metal uh, track that will not rust or corrode on you. Uh, so you'll get long life and easy movement out of uh, your doors, which are going to weigh about 300 plus pounds a piece. Um, and then we use a nylon Teflon uh, roller in the top of the door again for smooth operation and it cuts down on the dirt buildup. Okay, we'll bring you inside the barn here a little bit and show you some of the features uh, and what's going to make all your friends jealous. Um, inside the aisle here, your aisles are going to be lined with tongue and groove southern yellow pine. This is a great material as it weathers and ages, it's going to get harder. Uh, it basically just lasts forever. Um, moving on to, we'll show you a little bit here as a standard. You'll have a grilled stall front in all of your stalls. This is going to be made of a powder coated welded steel. There's no aluminum in here, so you're not going to have to worry about any rusting or chipping or uh, corrosion over time. Very sturdy, your horse won't get out of that one. Um, also, we're going to move on here. We'll show you some of the different stall door options. We have quite a few mix and match options that you can go with. Uh, everything from doing Horizontal bottom panels made out of the same tongue and groove yellow pine with a metal surround. Uh, overhead track sliding door is standard. And then as we move over here, you can see this is another option. You could do something like a wooden X at the bottom panel and even do a drop uh, a V gate or a drop V uh, in your door panel. Standard would be a heavy duty horse head latch. Very simple to operate. Like I said, they're heavy duty, they're gonna last forever for you. And then moving up here, we have another option for you to look at. This would be the wooden X as you just saw, but this is gonna incorporate straight vertical grills. So if your horse uh, you know, gets to nipping at you when you're coming in the aisle in the morning, uh, this will keep him inside. And again, the standard horse head latch right there for you. Um, Another door option that you'll have as you move, as you would uh, allocate any spaces to be a service room, a hay room, a feed room, we have a three foot white pine service door. These are three layers thick, they're all hand laid up, hand glued, it's going to come with a latch in it, uh, very sturdy. If you do a feed room or a hay storage area, you may want to consider making a double door uh, for to enter those rooms to give you enough width to get in your uh, hay hay bags or hay bales, uh, your feed uh, bags, and store everything inside there. Um, looking up here at the sides too, you can see that we do have the ability to uh, wire the barn for your electric ahead of time. We do offer a vapor-proof fluorescent tube light in the aisles. You'll notice, you'll notice that they're mounted on the walls and that is simply because there is no ceiling when the barn ships, and this allows us to provide that service for you as your barn arrives, uh, and then really all you have to do is the final hookup from there. So mounting them on the walls does a very good job. They're high enough where the horses won't get to them, um, and they provide excellent lighting. Our Cannonball uh, hardware track, along with our Teflon nylon roller system, allows for really easy movement of even the heaviest of stall doors. Um, rollers don't uh, acquire any buildup on them, so you won't have any extra dirt on, build up on the roller that'll 
hold up on the operation of the door. Uh, this door weighs probably about 250 pounds and just really easy to operate with one or two fingers. Okay. We'll take a look inside the stall here. We'll show you some of the standard features that are going to come uh, with your barn. Number one, all of your framing is going to be uh, oak and yellow pine, very sturdy, going to last you a long, long time. For your kickboards, your kickboards are going to come up four feet off of the base of the barn. This is one inch thick rough sawn oak. If you have a horse that tends to uh, chew on the kickboard or chew or crib on the edges of the stall, we can also provide you with a powder coated welded steel uh, chew guard that will mount around on all four sides of the stall uh, and just protect it and give your uh, kickboard and your stall sides a little bit longer life. Uh, one inch thick rough sawn oak kickboard, uh, very strong, very dependable, uh, it's going to provide the horse with some protection as well as be a, a great uh, reinforcement for the stall itself. On top of that, in between your stalls, you'll have a 29 inch high powder coated welded steel partition grill or your choice of a solid wall. The partition grill from there up is open to the rafters and uh, that's going to help with your air circulation. Uh, we'll look over here, sliding stall window, comes standard in all of your stalls. Uh, very simple to operate. They're actually in a wooden track. You can operate these from the inside or the outside. And we do include, again, that powder coated, welded uh, steel grill work so the horse is not um, able to damage himself on the glass. In the back of the stall here, you're going to notice that we use engineered um, beams to better support your barn up to spec. We can build these for uh, being installed just about anywhere in the United States. Nice heavy grade. Up in the top you'll see the 2x6 rafters, 16 inches on center. Again, we do have the ability to upgrade those if need be for your area. Here's an example of uh, the standard stall light that we would put in. This is a caged 100 watt bulb. Um, very nice if the case the bulb would break. All that glass will remain up top, will not fall down into the stall and damage the horse or you know the horse won't be able to step on that. So that's a great safety feature, very steady light. If you're thinking about doing electric in your barn, you'll notice this Horizon Structures uses a metal conduit as well as a flexible metal conduit. This is going to really uh, keep your barn safe from any mice chewing on your wiring and metal conduit meets the uh, requirements for electric in a barn in just about every state. No matter where you're located, you're going to find that uh, Horizon Structures is going to look out for you. You'll notice that we are able to put hurricane brackets and extra bracing up in the rafters, so whether you're in Maine with a heavy snow load or in the Midwest with a high wind load, we'll make sure that you're taken care of by building your structure up to code. We'll have a look now inside of one of the uh, storage rooms in your barn. This can also be used as a uh, hay room or a feed room or a tack room, whatever you would decide to purpose the uh, space for. Um, this is a great look too of what's hiding behind your kickboard that you may not have seen. Here's a look at some of that oak framing. Uh, here's a look at the interior of the barn. This is the backside of the white pine exterior. Um, and here's another great look of the window for you without the grill, just so you can see. Very easy to operate, uh, standard wood barn sash. Uh, as you get a look down here on the floor, underneath this standard plywood floor, you're going to have pressure treated floor joist. Uh, that's going to be really good for being against the ground. It's going to last an awful long time. If you do have product that you want to put in here, we can actually upgrade this floor to a pressure treated plywood. And again, if you have any, you know, if you would have like a sink or something in here, that's going to be a great floor to have in. And again, it's going to last you a really long time. Another good look at the engineered beams that we use on the outside edge of the barn. Um, and your tack rooms or storage rooms are also going to be the central area where your breaker box is going to be located, as well as you know, the opportunity to have your switches in here all separated out for your aisle way, for your stalls and for each individual room if you choose to. We will work with you and design an electrical package that will work for your needs. I hope you've enjoyed today's tour of, your, of our low profile 36 by 24 horse barn. If you would like to talk to any of our staff about getting a formal quote in line or working up some drawings for you, you can come visit us at www.horizonstructures.com or feel free to give us a call at 888
410-493-4337 or 610-593-7710. Thank you very much.